The story of a crow who used pebbles to raise the water level in a pot to quench its thirst is a memory from our childhood many of us share. Similar childhood stories told us that only a few animals are intellectually proficient. So, do other species possess higher cognitive abilities, such as human-like intelligence, or are they more like a biological robot? And before we even get that far, how do we measure animal intelligence? This is Dynamic Science, and in this video we're going to talk about animal cognition and the tools used to test and analyse them. Our social feeds are filled with videos of pets that act in an unexpectedly intelligent or emotional way, and no surprise, they are amongst the most viewed content on the internet. Seeing an animal do something that we thought only humans are capable of gives an unexplained satisfaction. But why are we so surprised by that? After all, we are ourselves an animal. Many ancient philosophers, including Aristotle, described humans as superior beings that use reason and intelligence in their everyday lives, whereas animals only responded to instincts. Aristotle, what an ego man. <laughs> Almost 2,000 years and another large ego later, Descartes wrote, Animals following instincts is parallel to robots responding to stimuli in their environment. However, when Charles Darwin, yes, the guy with the dope beard, came into the picture, he contradicted the belief that humans are specially gifted. In his theory of evolution, Darwin clearly mentions that our capability to think with reason, our strategic problem-solving skills, and our social habits are the perfect blend of different species' brains put together. Darwin claimed that intelligence evolved from simple instincts. Different animals solve different complex problems, very similar to how humans do with all those abilities combined. He said that our brains are different from them in degree, but not in kind. Ever since Darwin's theory of evolution, researchers have been trying to test the cognitive abilities of animals. But the problem encountered was always the same. How do we define intelligence? and what is the best way to measure it. Until we can establish a definition of intelligence, how are we to know what to test for? Do we want them to remember where to hide, deceive a fellow creature, or learn rocket science? Or do we want to answer the biggest question of all? Do animals share a consciousness like that of humans? Or are they simply responding to rewards? Okay, I will tone down my existential animal philosopher alter ego for now, and let's actually answer some questions for you. Until very recently, we knew that some species excelled in a few areas. Elephants use a combination of objects to reach for elevated food and have an incredible memory. An octopus can open jars after watching humans do so and are also able to learn from fellow octopuses. Raccoons are excellent burglars and can open different locks such as latches, bolts, plugs or push bars or all of them together to access their favourite human snack. Bees communicate using a special waggle dance to indicate the location and quality of food sources to other bees. And no, they're not twerking. Only humans possess that skill. Coco the gorilla was renowned for her emotional depth and ability to communicate in sign language. And of course, many species of bird have varied abilities to imitate human language. But the problem with all these tests is that they are not very reliable. The sample sizes are too small to be confidently applied to the entire species, and most of the time the animals are just completing tests for food. <laughs> How human of them. So, in 2014, an international team of scientists decided to tackle the situation of animal intelligence more systematically. They had to find a single mental capability that would be dispersed throughout a wide sample of species. They tested more than 500 animals across 36 species for the ability of self-control, defined in the study as the ability to inhibit powerful but ultimately counterproductive behaviour. But what is the link between self-control and intelligence? Being able to suppress a prevailing urge is an important part of making decisions and over time equates to how intelligent an animal can become. 
a precursor to higher cognitive abilities such as future planning. The experiment of self-control consisted of two tests. In test one, a piece of food was kept under a box in front of the animal, and then its location is changed to another box. Animals were tested on whether they would resist the urge to keep looking under the box where the food was first kept. In the second test, food was placed in the middle of an opaque tube with open ends so the animals were able to go inside or grab the food out of the tube. Easy, right? Next, the food was put inside a tube once more, however this time it was transparent. So the animals were tested on whether they would grab the food from inside, like before, or they would simply scratch at the transparent tube. The research compared the animals' performances with two metrics thought to correlate with cognitive capacity, absolute brain size and brain size relative to body size. However, the results of the experiments came as a surprise to scientists. It was found that species with the largest brain volume, not volume relative to body size, showed superior cognitive abilities, challenging previous assumptions. The research showed that animals with more complex diets had greater self-control. However, there was no link between how well animals did and the size of their social groups. In a recent experiment called the Duration Discrimination Test, rats showed the ability of metacognition, that is, to think about your own thoughts. They had to distinguish the duration between longer and shorter tones. If they passed, they would get a big reward. If they failed, nothing. And if the rats chose to not attempt the test at all, they were given a small reward. This capacity of thought is the ability to know that you do not know something. And the rats seem to know more than we give them credit for, declining to attempt the tests once they got too difficult, suggesting that they are in fact aware of their cognitive state. As the research continually asserts that there is far more going on with our animal cousins than we once thought, it is beginning to be safer to assume that once an animal has evolved a nervous system of certain complexity, consciousness, maybe of lesser or differentiated degrees, is a given just as Darwin stated about their brain. And who knows, one day, in the distant future, we may be able to come home from work to hear about our pet's day and how much they missed us. Although, the era of human superiority may lead to dog world domination. Or have I been watching too much Rick and Morty? Enjoying the content? Then shout us a coffee. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for your weekly dose of dynamic science.